Any ceasefire will come too late for many here. Most of Chernihiv already destroyed, an unknown number of its residents already dead. In the rubble here, bodies are being covered with blankets. It's too distressing to broadcast. Someone carried away in a makeshift stretcher. The city on Russia's ruthless path from Belarus to Kyiv is now surrounded and cut off. Sky News has been sent these pictures to show what that means for people trapped here. This is Jana and her 10-year-old daughter, Polina. Like most here, a bomb shelter is now their home. How do you comfort a child when this is it? We have a big family here. There are 17 people. We can't go away and leave an 85-year-old grandmother, a mom or a brother with a two-year-old. The little food left is being shared around by local volunteers like Xenia, the road barely visible through her shattered windscreen. We managed to speak to her briefly after she charged her phone on a generator, which is rationed to one hour a day. Connection here is, is very bad. When we're hearing the bomb, bomb sound, the first thing what we can do, we can call our relatives that live nearby to ask if it's okay. Was it near to your home? And with the absence of the electricity, we don't have the siren. We've lost Xenia again, just as she was describing how desperate things have become in Chernihiv. It's also quite clear that not only are they without power, uh, but they're without internet, phone signal as well, and just almost any ability to communicate with the outside world. It's little wonder Chernihiv is being called the next Mariupol, the opposite end of the country, but an almost identical humanitarian catastrophe. Slow Ukraine. An Azov unit that first began as a far-right voluntary group still holds the centre of the city. One of its fighters, Eli, speaks to me from an undisclosed location in Mariupol. Putin's pretext for invading Ukraine, for starting this war, was to denazify the country. Was he talking about you? Me and my comrades were accused as uh, like neo-Nazis, like uh, ultra-nationalists, far-right wing, uh, white supremacists. Uh, and all the words like this, Putin declaring that he's going to denazify the Ukraine, yeah, uh, or demilitarize and denazify Ukraine. And right now they are bombing the kindergarten schools, medical, medical facilities. Before Eli signs off, he says he's confident they can hold Mariupol. But without some hope of a break in fighting, it's unclear how long civilians can hold on for. Sally Lockwood, Sky News, Lviv in Western Ukraine.